So things happened on the market in the past few days, which are nothing new to our premium members, but could be new to everybody else. Now, I think these events are important. And uh, so just to mention this again, we produce these videos every night for our premium members. There's a video every night, and these are forward-looking videos. Of course, everybody can talk about yesterday's chart. We talk about yesterday's chart when it's necessary to predict the future, to put things in context, of course. But each night, there's a video for the next day as a battle plan. We're watching these 20-some markets on certain various time frames, as you can see. And the point I'm trying to make here is that whatever your time frame is, these videos and this kind of analysis and this way of looking at the market or understanding or interpreting price action rather is beneficial. So nothing is 100%, but what we're looking for is not 100% certainty, which doesn't exist on the financial markets, of course, but statistical reliability. We, we're looking for an edge, something being more likely to happen than something else. And then we, what we say is we structure a trade based on that opportunity. So it, there's always two steps. You can think of that as one, one way of looking at it is a setup trigger differentiation. That's very important. Please keep that in mind. First, we, we're talking about a setup and then the trigger. The trigger is the final missing part for us that, that must be met, must happen to complete the picture for us to go into a trade, potentially. And uh, in our case, we have programmed that with the computer. So on our charts, you will see a blue and a red arrow which identifies the trigger. Based on the mathematical calculation, the trigger is the most ideal candle to enter a trade. And I'm always gonna say to potentially enter the trade. And that's important, please, because I might see something on the chart and I might have a certain dollar amount and I might have certain risk rules, but what if I'm already loaded on GC and I see something beautiful on the Japanese yen. I simply, I know what to do, but I don't have the money to do it. So not every trigger will lead to a trade. I hope that makes sense to everybody. And that, that is regardless and independent of the level of automation you do your work with. So that's one thing, the, the setup and trigger differentiation. But there's another way of looking at it, which is first identify the opportunity. Once that done, we have to figure out if we can structure a trade based on that opportunity. And structuring the trade involves various things. Risk management calculations, which either you have to do or the software does, and other, other factors like do I have a headache or am I at home or am I sitting on an airplane? All these other factors which play into my ability to actually capitalize on that potential opportunity. All right, so opportunity and structuring the trade. That's two phases, two steps. Or another way of looking at it is the setup and then the trigger. First slide, let's start. On the left, you will see the, the reference information which will help you to identify this situation in the video. So everything you see in the video is, uh, is a plan for the next day, all right? So this is 9, 9.04 p.m. Eastern time on the 9th, on the 5th of September. So you are looking at the pattern failure right in front of us here on the four hour chart, for example, here on the 6G at 9 p.m. on the 5th of September. And this pattern failure, what does it mean? First of all, this was originally a bear flag. As we know, a certain subset of flags or consolidation areas will fail. And this is one of those occasions when this bear flag just simply never happened. You see, price was supposed to break down. That's what the story usually, that's how the story usually goes, but not always. And we need to realize when it doesn't. And that is an important clue for us, please. And this is, this is the point, because a pattern failure with a high likelihood will lead to a move to the other side. If, let's say, the pattern failure points towards the upside, like in this case, 
but let's say the higher time frame is dropping like a stone, then that's such a big contradiction that I may, not, I may choose not to pursue that opportunity. But if the pattern failure, in this case, a move, a relentless move to the upside, which just erases the bearish potential, in simple English, is also coincides or harmonizes or in, is in sync with the higher time frame structure, which is a bull flag here, look at the daily, and it's a powerful hint as to where the market might be going next, okay? And I'm always using these grammar words very carefully, might be going, I never talk in certainties. We always have to think in probabilities. I'm always careful with the words on purpose, but also confident with my actions, all right? Now, you might say that, well, okay, who cares about the daily and the four hour? I'm trading the 15 minute chart. Well, here is the information. Your, your task is based on this situation. This is the opportunity. You have to structure a trade on your time frame. How are you going to do that? The same way as we do on the four hour chart or the daily. You have to wait for an optimal entry area, an optimal entry point into the move. If you want to go microscopic and you want to look at a 15-minute chart or a 7-minute chart, that's up to you. You still have to find the optimal candle to go long on, and you can do that if you just put our software on the chart. Look at these blue arrows. All right? So having said that, it is quite possible. Look at the 60-minute chart. The 60-minute chart is much more reasonable, and these two candles, if you look at it, are the best candles to go long on. That's just uh, how stronger software is. So first lesson, pattern failure as a hint towards what might be coming next, all right? But what's happening here? We are on the 6S in this possible, in this uh, specific situation. It's a bit me more stronger, in my opinion, than the 6C we looked at before because the 6C we identified the, the, the pattern failure pointed towards a potential setup or a potential move. In this case, on the 6S, a correlated market, look at this. The daily chart is already triggering. So actually, the title of this page is pattern failure as a trigger. A pattern failure, look at this. We were, this was a bear flag. We were expecting a short move out of this. If you're not careful, or if we are a little bit naive, or if we don't look at the context, which is the higher time frame, many traders might be considering a short trade here. That's a mistake, because look at this price action. Green candles, you could look at the videos and, and make it bigger a little bit, but green candles, price rejection right here in the middle, bottom tail, two, three, four, five green candles. This, this market is not going down. So short ideas should be erased from our thinking. This market is going up and price action points towards the upside. Now that's the opportunity. If I do trade the daily time frame, I'm getting the trigger right here. The blue arrow hasn't appeared yet. This candle could be open maybe in five, 10 minutes later, we would no doubt we would get a long, can, a long arrow here, which means the trigger just shows if you're new, this is the entry in the middle. This is our stop. This is our target. We always think in one hour trades, which means our reward and our risk is the same distance from our entry. So this is a, a special variation of the pattern failure where it is so strong actually, or it just happens to coincide with the actual trigger area on the higher time frame. When you enter the trade and how you enter the trade, that goes in, that falls in the category of structuring the trade. Now we have software tools to make it a little easier. I'm not trying to avoid answering the question. We have software tools, which we think covers the whole palette of what you could do. Let's move on to the next one. So check this out. Another very important pattern or event on the market that should be in everybody's book is a failure test. Failure test is a sudden, strong price rejection. And it shows in the form of, let's say on this chart, four hour chart, GC, 9.06 PM. It's the same video, same days. Let's see what's happening here. And why did I include this 
JPEG in this presentation? Well, because this is a failure test here, price rejection, popular name could be double bottom, but there's price action information here. A double bottom is not the word we're using because a failure test is a very specific form or type, variety of a double bottom. Price must bounce like a ping pong ball. If it's a double bottom, but there's no ping pong bounce, then it's not a failure test. So you see, all right, so this is a failure test, price rejection at this level, 25 or five or something. And that provides us for a clue, first of all, that we're not gonna take this bear flag seriously. Second, that we're gonna look at the higher time frame because this could be the context, this could be the microscopic view of what's happening on the daily. And look what's happening on GC, and this will become important if you just look at your Ninja Trader right now, what's happening with GC on the 12th of September. Point is, failure test is a clue towards what may be coming our way on the higher time frame. And in this case, a four hour chart and the daily chart provides the two time frames. The perfect storm. Well, this may be or may not be the best name. We can, I'm thinking about a better name, but, and I just said, all time frames tell the same story. So that's what I'm trying to tell you here. And this is the, I'm using the SI to tell you this story. And this is again, 907 on the 5th of September, about a week ago. All right, so what's happening here? First of all, we have a bull flag on the four hour chart. I think you agree that at this time, this is a valid bull flag. It is being built. It's not finished yet. And if everything goes well, the circle, you see this, the, 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 the range or the trend line, actually, just a mini trend is a consolidation area. If you're new to this, just, just a note, we don't go short in this mini trend here. We're not interested in the short. For us, this is a consolidation area out of which we are expecting a breakout, a move towards the original, the direction of the, direct, uh, the original trend. And this in the circle, we are expecting a blue arrow later at one point. And this arrow points towards where we intend the direction of the trade that we are planning. At this point, it's not a trigger, of course, there's no trigger, this is just a setup. So we, it, this might become a trade or it might not. And if it doesn't, we don't care. If price breaks down and goes to the floor, we're not in a trade and we couldn't care less. Okay, but this is what we're watching out for because we're expecting a second move to the upside. And this is what we call the re-emergence of momentum. All right, so that's the theory. And actually, here's the practice in front of us because this is a bull flag. Look at this, the daily higher time frame. This is a potential measured move. This is another term that you should have in your book, potential measured move. A similar move is expected in the original direction, which would take us back to like this 31 niche level here, the upper counter on the daily SI market. And last but not least, one step up, which is the weekly time frame, is an obvious complex bull flag. Obvious complex bull flag. You see, so there are three time frames which point towards the same direction. That's why some people call it perfect storm, but whatever name, I'll come up with a better name, but the point is that three time frames point towards the same direction. This is an opportunity we need to take seriously. Okay, next one that I want you to know is a reversal alert. This is the ES on September 10, 7 p.m. It's also in the video. Here's the video, 30 seconds in the video. This guy is talking about the ES. Why? Because I had to, because the chart was talking to me. These, these are green arrows and bottom tails. This shows what we say, this, this is a bear flag, yes. Is this a bear flag that I want to short? No way. These spikes, they point towards a most likely failure of this bear flag. In other words, this market is not going down. And this was on the 10th of September. Of course, now everybody's talking about the ES, but now things happened. 
We talked about the ES two days ago, and we said, don't even think of shorts. This market is going up. Okay, let's uh, correlation is next. Beautiful. ES, NQ, YM, RTY, by and large. And they are correlated, which means they don't always go the same way, but they tend to. So this is also the 10th of September, 7 p.m., same time. This is the YM. This is a very strong bull flag with strong green candles, bottom tail. Look at the four-hour chart. Look at this bottom tail. This is a potential measured move at this time. All three time frames point towards the same direction. We have indicators that tell us that this is a double inside bar with a long tail. I mean, what more, what stronger price action information do we need? I can see it with my eyes, but if I miss it, the software puts it here in yellow, okay? And long setup, you see? And plus the risk calculation, 2.5 ATRs, $6,000. You can do this with micros, of course, or even an ETF. How you do it, that's another topic we can talk about. That's about structuring the trade. This is now, we're in the recognizing the opportunity phase which must happen before we can structure anything. So there's no reason for me to be bearish on the ES. I know it's not the same market. I know that the calculation is different. I know that Dow Jones is 30 companies, the S&P is 500, and the mathematics is different behind them. We can read all the books about these things, and we should. But at the end of the day, I don't want to short the ES when I see this on the YM. Make sense? So that's correlation. Just to mention, correlation exists and should be, should be recognized on the indexes, but there's also correlation on other markets, for example, namely uh, precious metals, of course, GC, SI, and platinum, strongly correlated. Energy, CL, RB, and HO. You should put this in your book. And uh, we also have a correlation workspace. If you're interested, I can show it to you later, which makes the work very easy. And also treasuries, of course, ZB, Z, and ZF. And of course, occurrences as well. 6E, 6S, 6A. These are currency pairs against the USD. So obviously there's correlation. All these trades are basically a trade against or with the USD. This is the pullback trade. This is our version of it. So this is our bread and butter. And this is what we need to take seriously. And I'm, and I'm saying this seriously that I know there are other ways to trade. I don't trade any other ways. But if some people trade differently, that's perfectly fine. As long as they're successful, nobody can say one word. But if you're not in that category, then I think you should seriously take us seriously because this does work and we have two million examples and this is just one of them japanese yen by the way if you have ninja open look at your ninja right now look at the 6j right now look at my chart in the slideshow and look at the 6j now i know it did come back but it hit the 1r easily so this was a 1r trade which means that on the four hour chart our target was hit you can look at the three time frames which are in sync, perfect harmony, a perfect storm or whatever, the weekly relentlessly pushing to the upside, the daily has already triggered. This is what we call a secondary consolidation. When it breaks out and then it stops, just in brackets, a serious or an important little factor, but not to be missed. But when it stops here and so-called hesitates, don't lose hope because that's a bullish factor. And then finally, the four hour chart, which has also triggered. Here we have the blue arrow is our algorithmic signal. That's what the computer calculated. This is the ideal candle to enter the trade and look at it, it is. The daily ideal candle to enter the trade, either this or this, which one? It is. All right, next one. Failure test as a clue, all right. Yes, this is the GC. Now, this is a famous story of the past few days. This is the 10th of September. Look at GC today. Actually, you should look. make sure you look at GC today. But this was two days ago. Okay, so what is happening here? Well, first of all, on the four-hour chart, we have two failure tests, not just one, but two, plus bottom tails, 
And this market doesn't want to go down. It just doesn't want to go down. And now we have the trigger on the daily time frame. And you can use this trigger automatically with the computer, or you can look at it manually and press the mouse manually. It's up to you. How you do it, it's up to you. The opportunity is here. The actual execution will always be individual because we are different in time zone, condition, psychology, everything is different for everybody, each of us. But the opportunity is the same. Translating the opportunity into an exact executed, well-executed trade is a skill with which we try to help you guys develop this skill with the premium service. That's the point. So this is the story of the GC. This is a failure test as a clue towards emerging price direction, which in this case is towards the upside. And the failure test, just to be specific, says that this price is not going down. Lower prices have been rejected. So what, what has failed? Lower prices have failed. That is the clue for us. Where do I start? Where do you start? Well, okay, please start with a 15-day free trial. When you sign up, you get to use the software free of charge for 15 days, of course. And more importantly, or just as importantly, you'll get a few emails which will guide you during the 15 days. And that way you get to know our product and what we do. And then you step-by-step, step, you figure out if this fits into your trading business or your aspirations or your daily practice. So start here, please. Sign up and feel free to book a session with me. The, the sessions are here. Support and the free onboarding. The two kinds of sessions, free technical support if you have a software problem and free onboarding if you'd like to get guidance in how we trade. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you for joining me. We'll be back soon. And until then, mindful trading.